Hello everybody and welcome to the 30-day Arthur Murray Dance Challenge. I'm Urs Geisliner and with me is Michelle Berry to help me out a little bit explaining something about bass pace. We want to create something that is speedy, that creates a feel for the motion, for the dance, so that we have something that's not only guided by the steps, but we can do that on the spot, we can do that to warm up, we can do that to cool down, or we can do that to actually get a little bit closer to understanding how the motion of the dances go, how that actually works to the music, and what we should be feeling from an energetic kind of level, from the physicality of it. So what we're going to be doing is we're first going to show that side by side for our four smooth dances, going to be waltz, tango, foxtrot, and Vini's waltz, and maybe in the end a little bit of polka, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but basically what we're going to be doing, we're just going to show a little bit of that motion, okay? So if we just do that side by side, we're going to stand split weight, and for a waltz, obviously we're going to do, apply a little bit the rise and fall for it, and the timing as well. So we would go one, two, catch, three, and then we go down the other way. One, two, catch, three, one. Two, catch, three, one. Two, catch, three, one. Two, catch, three. It's three, the number, by the way, not three. Everybody expects it from my German accent all the time. And uh, tango would be a little bit different, so we would stay down, would go slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing on slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing on slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing on slow. For Foxtrot, if I'm doing it in magic timing, it would be slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. If I do continuity timing, it obviously speeds up a little bit and would be slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. If I do it in Vini's Waltz, it looks super fast and a little bit like Meerkat's escaping the zoo. No, I'm just kidding. But we're going to try to create a little bit more motion. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that gives us a lot of feeling for the motion, for the characteristics of the dance, and the weight changes as well. And it gets our heart pumping a little bit. Okay? Not only because we're holding hands too hard. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to actually as a couple ones. It's the same thing, we can apply it in a practice frame, we can apply it in full frame, we can apply it with no frame, no. But we should probably do it in frame, right? We're going to slightly split weight and we're going to do the same thing for all four dances. And waltz first, so we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And tango would be slow, slow. Quick, quick, nothing. Slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing. And slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing. Now Foxtrot, we're gonna have magic timing first. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Continue timing would be slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And we need walls. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Whew. I'm a little bit out of breath. I hope you are as well. I hope you enjoyed tuning in into our dance challenge. Again, I'm Urs Geisenheiner from San Diego, and good luck and have fun with that.